G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. I remember laying in my bed after brain surgery and thinking to myself, how am I ever going to get back to work? How am I going to get back to a routine? How am I going to earn money? I can't even stand up. I'm a personal trainer and obviously my job is extremely physical. I spend the day showing people how to move correctly and I couldn't even stand up. So this was a huge stress and a huge issue that, uh, that I was, I guess, trying to contemplate in my brain as I recovered. Um, I literally thought I'm gonna have to crawl into work. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. It wasn't until I started seeing some really cool results when I went to rehab, I stood up for the first time, I started walking. I was back on my feet. I had to use a walker for about two months and a walking stick for a further two months. I remember clearly the day that I got rid of my walking stick and I I walked into a supermarket for the first time without any assistance. It was quite a cool milestone. Um, But yeah, at the time, I didn't know what I was going to do or how I was going to work. Um, I didn't have the luxury of being able to have time off work. I needed to earn an income. I needed to pay bills, etc., etc., etc. Luckily, The doctor looking after me at my rehab facility was incredibly supportive and she put together a return to work plan which allowed me to go back to work in small increments. And what I mean by that is I'll go back to work for a day a week for two weeks and then when that came to the end, I'd go back for two days and then three days and then four days. Eventually, we slowly drip fed my return to work where I started to work return to work for full time. My doctor also wrote really clear messages to my employer and my boss at the time to give me less strenuous and less time consuming tasks at work. So ed, uh, pardon me, admin heavy tasks, tasks that I could do on the computer and not be out on the gym floor trying to run around and get in and out both staff and members because my mobility was very, very, very challenged. It still is to today. And you gotta remember back then I just learned to walk. Imagine trying to walk through a really busy gym with hundreds of people working out and dozens of staff and you can barely stand up let alone walk yourself. So. My GP was excellent in that regard. She uh, she got me to ease back into work really, really, really at a good at a good pace and at a speed that didn't fatigue me too much because my brain was on such overload from surgery and the trauma that, that that had caused that I needed to go back into work without getting any extra exhaustion put on top of me from too much mental and physical fatigue. Another cool little side note around my return to work kind of timeline. When I had brain surgery, it was actually three days before the COVID pandemic boomed across the world. I was actually in hospital uh, when, when COVID took full force around the globe. So when eventually I got out of hospital after five weeks and then I got out of rehab for another five weeks, I would then slowly try and ease back into work And as you can imagine, at that time in the pandemic, gyms weren't exactly buzzing full of people when they weren't exactly overloaded with gym goers doing classes and loads and loads of staff needing things. So as much as uh, the pandemic was a a nightmare for most of the population around the world, it actually had a bit of a silver lining for me because the there was no huge demand going on at gyms at the, that, that moment. So my days at work were just organically lighter in an essence when it actually needed to be because of my physical challenges at the time. So I eventually came back to work and I eventually went back to work full time. 
it got to the stage where my mobility and my values didn't meet the demands and expectations of my employer at the time. So I decided to move on from that position and find a company and an employer whose expectations and visions were more accessible and accepting of someone like myself with, with new physical challenges and a different look and perspective on life. So I was really lucky in, the, in terms of being able to pivot because at this stage, I was in the fitness industry. I had progressed from solely working on a gym floor to actually moving into management positions where a lot of my day-to-day -day tasks were around strategy and budgeting and rostering and timetabling. So I organically spent a lot more time seated and at a computer in a back office as opposed to on a gym floor where it's more physically demanding anyway. So I was very, very, very lucky in the fact that my job had now become more about strategy and sitting down and being a bit more calm and working on things than out being reactive on a gym floor and looking after members and staff. Don't get me wrong, part of me, I like, I like both, but what my brain and my body needed at the time was a bit more calm and a bit less go, 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 go at work because in the past, I'd been that guy, the, the guy out on the gym floor, very high energy, very high octane. My brain and my body was telling me, Joel, you need to calm down. So yeah, my, I guess my first tip with pivoting, if, you're, if you've just gone through brain surgery and you have new physical challenges that may make your mobility or accessibility to your job a little bit more difficult, you need to chat with your GP and your boss and work out how to ease yourself back into your old role. And if you need to do lighter duties or jobs that are less physically demanding, go for it. And if your employer won't accommodate your, your, the new you and have the expectations that they want you to perform the things you used to be able to do before brain surgery, which is near on physically impossible, just leave. Go find a new employer that respects your new your new mobility challenges, your new way of life and a new you and your new accessibility. I'm not saying quit your job and have no income coming in, but do it smart. Maintain your current job. If your job and your employer starts to notice or starts to give you the, uh, the inkling that they want you to perform your old duties, even though you can't, just start putting your feelers out there. Start looking for another job and find one with a provider and an employer that actually respect the new you and in your new way of life and your new capabilities. Trust me, as someone, as a personal trainer who spent most of the day on, on the gym floor correcting people's movement patterns, I never ever expected to find another role in my industry where I could be more, more chilled, for lack of a better word, and behind a computer and less physically demanding. But belong... Uh, but uh, here we are and I have found multiple jobs that do allow me to do most of my work in a less physically demanding scope and I can still earn an income and be in a routine without feeling that constant pressure of my employer wanting me to fulfill my old duties, which was never going to happen. So guys, just a quick take home to wrap up the video. Always work out uh, going back to work plan with your GP. Don't go back to work full time. You'll get fatigued. You'll then stunt your rehabilitation and you'll be doing yourself no favors. Go back to work in a staggered formation. Go back to work and do lighter duties. And worst case scenario, number three, if your employer at the time isn't accepting an understanding of your new way of life and your new mobility challenges, Find a new employer that will. They are out there. I promise you. Trust me. And guys, I'm going to sound like a cliche YouTube producer here. I'm going to wrap every video up this way. I want to help as many people as possible. There are loads of brain surgery survivors out there in hospital beds right now and at home on the couch recovering from what is a very dark and gnarly time in their lives. And they want to see videos of motivation, tips, and inspiration just like this. And I want to use the YouTube platform and the algorithm to get my message out to as many people as possible. So all I need you to do is a quick 
thumbs up and say you like the video and write a comment in the comments below letting me know what topics you want for another video idea or what you feel about this video and what you've done to pivot and uh, continue your career. Alrighty guys, thanks a million. Peace.